welcome to another Whatever Wednesday. I know this isn't the best camera angle, but this is where I have to record today. So we're working with it, okay? So today is the fourth installment, the fourth week of um, a DIY gift from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so today we're thinking outside the box a little bit. I love making handmade cards. I started making handmade cards sold in packs of either quantity of four or five on my Etsy site a couple years ago. I only made a couple sales, but I really enjoyed making them. So I thought that would be a great idea to give to somebody. Handmade note cards. So they don't have to be birthday cards, they don't have to be you know, celebration cards, graduation cards, uh, ba new baby card. They're just gonna be um, customizable to the person so you're gonna make it and create it and decorate it so that they can make it be whatever they want it to be so I always leave the blank inside blank and just decorate the front of it so they don't have any kind of card stock or anything like that at the Dollar Tree this is what we're working with today <laughs> first thing you're gonna want is your ruler a pair of scissors I also have my paper cutter but you don't need a paper cutter. You can use scissors and a pencil. We're gonna be using this, which is the white cardboard that comes from the Dollar Tree. So we're gonna use this as kind of our card stock. I've never done it before, so we're gonna try it out together. Um, so we're gonna use this as the base of our card. It's gonna be our card stock. Mm. You can't shake it because it's shaking. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Um, I also picked up these. I've never seen these there before. This is the first time I've seen them. They're from Jot, and they're double tip markers. And so one side is really thin, one side is really broad, which I really like because, hello, fake calligraphy, just like I said with my painting. When you do, um, when you do cursive writing, as long as you make the down strokes nice and thick, then it's like fake calligraphy. So it makes it look that much more. Um, I just pulled this out of my, um, out of my Bad. supply of just extras. Random. This came from the Dollar Tree. This is a sheet. Things I figured we could use those for something. I don't know. We're going to see what we can create. I got a box of envelopes because I don't feel like making my own. I hate making envelopes. Now, if you already have, um, one of those envelope, like, uh, punch boards, then you don't have to buy envelopes. You can make your own but I hate making envelopes. So I bought myself a 40 pack. We're gonna use five. <laughs> but um, yeah, I hate making envelopes. Are those at the Dollar Tree? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. I also have my little handy dandy hole punch from the Dollar Tree. I figured we could um, color in some pieces of paper and punch them out to make it, you know, pretty like confetti on the, one of the cards or something. I don't know. And then I also got a watercolor set, Frozen, from the Dollar Tree. So, what I'm gonna do first off camera, because there's no sense in taking you along for this, is I'm gonna cut up this poster board into reasonable um, sheets to work with, and then we'll cut them down to size according to whatever size envelopes you buy. So, let me go cut these down into reasonable sized pieces of paper to work with and I'll be back. All right, so I cut down the poster board into, I just did eight by 10 just because that's what I'm used to working with. Um, these envelopes that you buy at the Dollar Tree, they measure, I got all my measurements down here. No fear guys, I did the math for you. And you'll see in a minute that I screwed it up, so there's that. All right, so these measure approximately, I'll tell you the real measurement. It's three and five eighths inches by six and a half. Yeah, I'm not messing with no five eighths inches, so I just made it three and three fourths that we're working with. So um, I said they were approximately three and three fourths. You know what though, I should have brought that down. Did I bring that down? Yeah, I did. No, it should have been three and a half. All right, you can't overestimate, you have to underestimate because then when you go to make the card size, you have to 
underestimate again to make sure it fits. Do you see what I'm saying or no? Because I've never been quite the good math teacher before. I've never even been a good math student, okay? All right, so we're gonna say the envelope inside measures. Let me get another handy dandy post-it note here. See, I thought I did all the math for you. Now you're gonna have to do the math for me. You're a good math teacher. Oh, thank you, Hannah said I'm a good math teacher. That's all good, she's in third grade. All right, so we're gonna say they're approximately three and a half inches by six and a half inches. I'm just gonna save you guys the headache and not worry about this math business. I'll just give you the final end result. So according to my calculations, yeah. you should have a paper that, or a piece of card stock slash cardboard, whatever you call this, poster board, that measures six and a half by six and one fourth. Let me see, let me do this. So six and a half by six and one fourth. I've got my paper here. I'm gonna quickly, and I'm cutting by hand because I know you guys, um, if you're using all Dollar Tree products, do not have a paper cutter, so I'm not gonna have a paper cutter either. Look how cute I am. All right, six and one fourth. I think it's gonna work. I think it is going. Okay, now you're just gonna fold this in half, depending on what side you wanna look at how wavy that is. I can't cut a straight line for the life of me, people. Nope, can't do it. All right, now we're just gonna fold this in half. I am going to leave, um, there's a shiny side, like that glossy side, and then there's also this um, like rough side right here. I'm gonna leave the rough side on the inside, and that way, um, somebody who receives it can use just a regular pen to jot their note in it and that way they don't have to find a permanent marker because if you use a regular pen on this glossy side it's not gonna work but we can put embellishments on it because we're using hot glue so let me fold this Ooh, it does not fold very good guys oh, I've never used a poster board before um, yeah I don't like the way this folds at all but And I am just gonna use my little. So I would say if you have a bone folder, which I do, go ahead and get your bone folder out and really, really, really um, get this fold going because this paper, this poster board is really thick. Um, it's good though, it's fine. So the only thing that I did like wrong is I must have had something on the edge of my ruler because when I like scraped it down, I've got black stuff here. It's gonna be okay though, because here's why it's gonna be okay. We are using lots of goodies. We're gonna use our washi tape goodies that we get from the Dollar Tree. Now I didn't get all these from the Dollar Tree, but a lot of them I did. A lot of the really pretty ones that I really love, like all these I got from the Dollar Tree. The gold, the silver, those I got from the Dollar Tree. All these little ones over here, I think I got from the Dollar Tree. All these little ones. So we're gonna use um, all sorts of stuff. So let's see, um, I would say to include four. I would say let's do four cards. Um, with these cards, you can be as creative as you want, but I would say stick with either, same thing I said last week for the gift basket, stick with either a color scheme or stick with a um, some type of theme. Yeah. Like one time I sold a um, a set of gift cards to one of my girlfriends from back home in Florida and it was owl themed. So it had owl stickers and embellishments on it. So it wasn't all the same color, but it was all owls. And then I chose colors that went with the owl stickers. Another time I did, I sold at a craft show. Um, uh, it was like flowers. So they weren't all the same flower. There was like daisies and these were stickers that I bought, you know, at a, um, at a craft store. So it was just all flowers. So I used pinks and blues and whites, you know, depending on what flower they were. 
So if you want to use a theme, go ahead and use that theme, but you have to use it throughout the four cards that you're making. That way it looks like a cohesive set and it's not just a whole bunch of random crap that you throw to somebody. Oh look, I made a whole bunch of random cards, which is fine if you want to do that, but it just makes it more, it looks more cohesive and it looks more um, thought out if you stick with either a theme or a color. All right, I'm gonna quit chatting and I'm just gonna to get to finish cutting. I've got three more of these that I need to cut down to size and to fold. And then I'm gonna put um, the camera right down here on my table and I'm just gonna be creative. All right, and by the way, just to show you, it does fit. It fits nice and neat in there. So I did my math right, guys, yay! So here's the card and it fits nice and neat in here, just like so. All right, all right, you guys. I'm in the process of doing this, folding them. I just had an epiphany that if you break the um, fibers of the poster board by rocking it a little bit like this to the way you wanna fold it, it's not gonna create so much of a um, cracky, you know what I mean when you go to when you go to fold it and score it it's not going to create such cracked fibers so roll it in your hand a little bit like that and then when you go to score it down the center you've already broken up the fibers a little bit so you get this nice clean edge from me to you
This is where I noticed that these markers were absolute crap because it's supposed to be black. That's green, clearly. I mean, the color pigmentation is horrible. It was a little bit better when I used the thick side.
all done. So let me show you the cards I created. I really like this one a lot. This is one of my favorites. Nothing in the middle. Again, you leave them for the person that you're giving them to to personalize. I like how this one turned out. It's cute. Little uh, um, hole punched pieces of paper just drawn with different colored markers. I like this one too. I have always loved these little paper feathers. I like them. And then this one. With this one, what I would probably do is write like hello across the top of it or something. Really pretty though. So that's it. Um, what I would do is I would probably just gently put the um, envelope around them. And another great idea would be to find a box at the Dollar Tree that would fit these. That would be a really good idea. Unfortunately, I did not look for one. Oh, there was one right the this kind of happened by accident, but I like it. It goes with this one right here. So I kind of like how I accidentally got water splatter on it. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna go with it. So that would be really cool. I just like watercolor splatter. I think it's super pretty. So I hope you liked today's video. If you did, make sure you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and make sure you hit the bell note for notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. Until next time, I will see you later. Take care.